Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons. And you know, my most popular video, or my most watched video at least, here on YouTube, is my clownfish tutorial. Uh, but it's also the video that I get by far the most complaints about. People say they can't see all the little bubbles that I'm doing and I'm going too fast. But the thing about that clownfish is that it's just a variation of the flat weave. So if you know how to do this flat weave, then that clownfish is actually really easy and I don't need to show you all of the little bubbles that I'm doing because you already know it. It's all part of this. So there are other videos here on YouTube that teach this technique, but apparently people have trouble finding them for some reason. Um, so I decided that I would go ahead and I would make a video on the basic flat weave. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to need two different colored balloons. You can do it with the same color balloon, but it'll just be easier to follow if we're using two different colors. So I'm inflating this with about five fingers of tail. And the same thing with the other balloon, about five fingers of tail. And that one has a hole in it. Isn't that nice? Okay, we are going to start with a pinch twist. Whatever we do in one balloon, we need to do the same thing in the other balloon. So start with a pinch twist in the end of each. Now we're going to lay these here and we're going to see how wide do we want our flat weave to be. Okay. And I'm going to do a little bit more than a hand's width. Make your twist there and twist it into the other pinch twist. Make your about hands width bubble. We're going to line these up and make sure that we get them the same size. Okay, line them up there, get them the same size, twist that in. Now I'm going to show you what I consider the cheater method first because it's a little bit easier. Okay, so that is we start with a small spacer bubble. Okay, make that small, maybe a half inch, and then we're going to do a small pinch twist. Small pinch twist. Do the same thing with the other balloon. Small spacer bubble. Small pinch twist. Now we line this up. Okay, get that about the same length. Twist it into that new pinch twist on the other side. Okay, come down again about the same length into that pinch twist on the other side. Again, small spacer bubble, small pinch twist. Small spacer bubble, small pinch twist, and down, again, try and make it the same size, twist into that pinch twist, and into that pinch twist. Okay, um, and you just keep going that way. What's nice about this particular technique for the flat weave is that you do get pinch twists all the way down the line, um, as opposed to on this, see we've got bubbles at each end, pinch twist here and a bubble here, and then nothing in the middle here. Um, and so some people like the look of this better because it's more symmetrical, you've got the same thing all the way down. And the other thing that's nice about this is that 
um, you can really mirror what you're doing on each side, do it exactly the same on each side. The other technique is going to require a roll through. So let me show you that. And that one can be uh, a little bit tricky for people. I need to go grab another balloon because that other one popped. Hold on a second. I'm inflating these the same amount again so that I've got about a six finger tail. They're trying to escape. Okay, about a six finger tail. This starts the exact same way. We're going to put a pinch twist in each one. Pinch twist. Pinch twist. Again, I'm going to do about a hand's width, maybe just a little bit more into the other pinch twist. Let's make sure I've got make sure I've got these the same way. Twist in. Okay, now here's where it's different. I'm going to do that small spacer bubble, but I'm not going to do a pinch twist. I'm just going to lay this across there to get the right length. Okay, measure it up, get the right length, twist it off. And now, in order to connect this to the other balloon, I need to make that spacer bubble. Okay, make that small spacer bubble there. You can see I'm holding this one so it doesn't come untwisted. Once I've got that spacer bubble, then I put them together and connect. Okay, come back up with your other color. Okay, but how do I connect? How do I connect this joint to that joint? I need to connect those. Well, you can take the end of this and pass it through, but what, uh, what people typically do, and what I do, is I will hold those together, okay, hold those two joints together, and I'm going to roll this through those two. Okay, so it's like doing a bird body roll through. Hold those together and roll it through. And that will hold it. Okay, we'll do that again. Small spacer bubble. Hands width bubble. Hold that so it doesn't come undone. Make the small spacer bubble in the other balloon and wrap those together. Come back up. And now hold those joints together and roll through. Now some people will roll two or three times there. I don't think that's really necessary. Once is enough because you're going to continue your pattern and that one roll will hold it most of the time. Small spacer bubble. It doesn't matter which one you start with because you're going to you're going to do the same thing each time. Um, so you can you can always start with the blue, always start with the green, uh, or whatever colors you happen to be using. Um, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes um, I guess it can be good to be consistent so you know you're always rolling through the blue one or you're always rolling through the green one. Um, so that you don't get confused. I, I guess that could be a benefit of always starting with the same one. But honestly, it doesn't really matter. Once you get this pattern down, uh, it's pretty automatic. And that's why I didn't bother to show the directions very well in the Nemo video, is because I was pretty clear that it was a variation of a flat weave. So if you know this, that's really, really an easy design to do. Okay, again, hold those together roll through. Now you'll notice because of the way that I had the balloons lined up I ended up with two blues right next to each other. Um, and that is something that you can do if you want. You can actually have all one color on one side and all the other color on the other side. And that's great for something like a, an alligator or a crocodile okay, where you've got a dark color on the back and a light color on the front. 
um, or maybe uh, a dragon, right, with dark scales on the back and light scales on the on the belly. Um, in order to get this so that I've got my alternating pattern, um, I'm going to continue to hold here and I'm just going to roll it one more time. So I've done two rolls and that will, uh, that will get me back to the alternating pattern. Cool, let's do it again. Small spacer bubble, right? Always that small spacer bubble. Come across, hold that. Small spacer bubble. Wrap that in. Come back up. Hold the joint together and roll through. Okay. At this point, I don't think I have enough in this balloon to go one more time. Okay, so if I'm going to continue and make this a, a much longer, let me roll this one more time to get the pattern. If I'm going to make this a much longer uh, piece, this is where I would tie in my new balloon. Okay, just inflate it the same way, wrap it in there several times, and then break this off. If I'm done, if I'm going to stop here, I will make a pinch twist, and then break it off. And I always like to tie after breaking my balloons. Okay, same thing on the other side, pinch twist, and break it off. So that is the basic flat weave. Now you'll notice you have alternating colors, right? You have a green and a blue, green and blue, green and blue, right? But they're, they're different on each side. So if you want green, 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 blue, blue, green, green, blue, blue, I have a video called Variations on a Flat Weave and I show you how to do that so that you get the same stripes on, the, on each side. Um, and there's a way to do that with two balloons or with four balloons uh, and that's what I show you in the video variations on a flat weave. There's also a way to do that with three balloons and you can learn that in the clownfish tutorial. See how that all comes together? But really master this because it's a great technique. It's used for all kinds of larger sculptures. Um, it's really, really, really helpful. It's something that you'll use a lot I think if you uh, end up doing larger, more advanced sculptures. Um, one other thing about this is it's called a flat weave. It is relatively flat, but you can take it and make an L shape out of it. Now you can see that because I've got all yellow on one side and all red on the other, when I make the L, I do end up with a red poking through onto the back side. Uh, but if you were doing something in all one color, that wouldn't be an issue because it would all be the same color. But you could do something like this as like maybe, um, I don't know, uh, Iron Man's boot, right? Because it's red and yellow, okay? But it's got that L shape to it. Okay. So that's, that's something else that you can do with the flat weave. If you vary the sizes of the bubbles across, you can, um, you can end up, you could make this uh, wider at the bottom and narrow at the top and make a triangle for a Christmas tree. Um, you could do kind of an hourglass shape. Lots of different things that you can do with the flat weave. It's very, very versatile. It's a great technique to know. Okay, so my advice is uh, after you've mastered this, watch that variations on a flat weave video and then tackle the, uh, the clownfish tutorial. It will be much, much easier for you once you know how to do this. I promise. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, this is Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons. Bye-bye.